Bum, 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 bum. Welcome to Stove News. I am Gabriel Rawls. And I am A. <laughs> <laughs> Today's top story is Clearview Stoves, what's happening with them. But first, Michael Chu has died. He was the guy who started Dean Forge Stoves back, yeah, well, he started Dean Forge back in 1969 and built the built and designed the very first Dean Forge stove in 1978. And it's with great sadness that we mourn his loss for the Chu family and the Dean Forge company. Um, I didn't get to meet Michael, but um, I think he was liked and respected across the industry. But what really sh sort of shines out for me is the fact that he's got many of the same welders and people working for him that, that he's always had. And he's sort of holding his whole family together uh, with this company. And, you know, to say you're good and fair is relatively easy, but to prove it over 55 years, I think that's pretty impressive. Did you ever speak to him? No, I don't think I did. No. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I, 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 only on the phone, but... Um, uh, he, uh, you know their logo, the mm -hmm. hammering on the anvil with the guy with the beard? That, that is Michael Chu. That's oh, sort of, that's the... Now, if you don't know, Clearview are supposed to naughty school board the industry because they've interpreted the eco-design rules to suggest that they only cover new stoves and so their existing stoves can be sold as they always have been. Now, the regulators and you may say, that's not right. Or you might just be jealous that you didn't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go into our current affairs of officer. No, current affairs <laughs> correspondent, Kathy. Kathy. Thank you, Amy. And can I just say, I'm so excited to be the current affairs correspondent at Stove News. Back to Clearview, the Office for Product Safety and Standards have issued two notices to CVS Energy, trading as Clearview Stoves, for eco-design and product labelling. Obviously, they've been asked to provide that information, but given that it doesn't exist, they have not been able to provide. Thank you very much, Cathy. No, I need to say that. No, 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 because it's cutting over to me okay. now. This, for me, is quite an interesting one because, um, obviously, there are loads of manufacturers out there who have spent hundreds of thousands of pounds, maybe millions of pounds, redesigning their stoves, bringing them up to these higher levels of efficiency and eco-design uh, accreditation and all of that. Um, and, obviously, Clearview has avoided all those costs and just stuck with their existing range. Um, now, I'm keen to say... Obviously, they're being accused of lots of things, and they have already been accused of several things. And so far, at least, nothing has stuck. I, I have some sympathy with this, because we could all just blindly, uh, you know, do what we're told, blindly comply. Uh, and I'm not saying that's the wrong thing to do, but I am sort of glad that even if it's just for the sake of variety, that there's some people that say, no, I'm going to push back a little bit. That's surely part of freedom, part of, part of the tussle. Um, anyway. Next, we're going to James, our political correspondent, for an update on Scotland banning wood burning stoves in new builds, at least. James. Quite rightly, they have completely backtracked. Minister for Climate Action, Alistair Allen, sent letters to all of the chief executives of Scotland's local authorities, announcing that the ban had been lifted with immediate effect. Thank you, James. And finally, um, we're obviously in the middle of the heating season, but we've been talking to lots of shops across uh, the UK, and you can still get a stove installed. There's stock, there's space in fitting diaries. There's not much from what I hear, but obviously if you do want to re that, beat that rush for Christmas and get a stove in this year, you're within slim chances, but I think it might be possible. Thank you very much for watching and please join us next time at Stove News.